подкаст. За хвилі зачнемо. Почати можемо і раніше, ні? Так, що, що, що? А включити. щось погано чути а, тебе? Чекайте, зараз вже краще має бути. Треба тут, так? Збільшити, так, тоді. Бо щоб, щоб я його чув. Так, так. Добре. А, а питання, а мене на стрімі буде чути? Це мене цікавить. Буде, ну, я не знаю. Надіємося, що буде. Так. Зараз чути добре. Ну, ви мене чуєте, так? Так, Давайте, так. Я, я, стрій, я чу, 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 добре чую. Так. Не знаю, чи ви не маєте зробити це, типа, через скрін і через звук. Ага, е, е, ну, к... ну, то я не... Каже, то не знаю. Каже Богдан, що все добре, так. Е, Добай, бо ти мене так, чути так, там. Що, вже можна говорити, так. Окей, so we will start uh, to comment new game, game 4, which will, be, which will start it. Окей, okay, already started, E4, E5. So, okay, today uh, uh, I am not alone. Uh, international master Martin Neichebauer, uh, current champion of Slovakia, will accompany me. So, Knight of Street, yeah, Petrov defense, we can see. So, it was wow. predicted by uh, Alexander Kalifban and also was a recommendation uh, of uh, Timur Rajabov for, uh, during our stream uh, that uh, Petrov, according to Rajabov, is uh, the best way to dry game. So... Uh, and he was surprised <laughs> that Carlson played knight c6. It's not so direct way to a uh, dry game. So, but okay. Yeah, but this is very surprising. I didn't expect that Young is going to play Petrov defense with but okay. black. Uh, uh, he played uh, this already uh, uh, several times. For example, against Van Hau in candidate tournaments and before uh, uh, it were some games. So he has experience and Uh, in the match against Caruana, Carlson didn't demonstrate anything special against Petrov, so it was uh, logical. Mm. Yeah, yeah, this is right, but uh, still kind of you're expecting some more challenging chess now with Petrov, but maybe it will be, because okay, it's kind of a psychological also... opening. If yes, white tries too hard, then black can have some chances anyway. So yes, uh, uh, okay, so now black has choice uh, where to develop his bishop. Bishop d6, yes. Bishop e7, it's another popular line. Castle, yeah. castle. So I played yeah. th- this line many, many times. Uh, King f8, it's, it is a joke, I think. Yes. Мені здається, що мене не чути. От я от дивлюся на стрім, що... Реалі? А зараз там дивляться, зараз зачекай. А я тоді... Ви слідкуєте? Алло? Just a moment. I asked a question, but I think they don't hear me. Обох чути. Так, людина слідкує, обох нас чути добре. Так що, кажу, все нормально. So everything is okay, so sorry for uh, so King F8, uh, okay, so castle. Actually we have castle, King F8 was joke, okay, but sometimes it happened with uh, in online tournaments. Uh, for example, Grishchuk Giri uh, game was started uh, Spanish, Bishop B5, Knight F6, King F1 played Grishchuk against Giri and can continue it with King F1. But okay, uh, they are pl- playing in live tournaments, so of course Castle and now C4 is main line. Or probably yeah, will be, it will happen, I don't think. Anything else, maybe Knight C3 is, is that a line King here? One is possible Not to really. start, of course. Yes, yeah, C4. Probably yeah, C6. But, uh, yes, uh, C6 is the main line, although there are some uh, Lines with bishop g4, c takes d5, f5, something very sharp, but okay, it's hard to believe that and this is... Uh, uh, yeah, we can already, I think, start making the moves on our board as well. Yes, uh, uh, of course, e4, e5, knight f3, knight f6, knight takes e5, d6, knight f3, knight takes e4, oh, sorry, d4, 
d5, bishop d3. Okay, I as uh, I mentioned already, yeah. so bishop e7 is uh, another line uh, in this position. So bishop d6 choose parts of castle, castle. C4. Bishop d6 is kind of main, not main, but uh, mostly played, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know. Okay, uh, uh, what is uh, the most popular? And now, okay, uh, c4 uh, he played already. So the most popular move c6. Almost uh, everybody strong players playing c6. But uh, there are some uh, ideas. Is there any alternative like bishop g4? What should else but five? But okay. It's a solid strategy for world championship, but okay, with uh, good computer's preparation to surprise opponent, it's possible too, but most likely he will see c6, and after c6, uh, white has several opportunities, so queen c2, rook e1, knight c3 immediately, or uh, knight c3 after exchange of pawns, or even uh, queen b3, it's possible, favorite line of Nigel Short. So yeah, this. But I don't know. Like normally, it's uh, people don't have many chances to find many things here in current theory. But yes, yeah, so we will see what Magnus will come up with because it's uh, hmm, really interesting choice, and he should have had this expected that as well. I think because you know, Caruana played this against Magnus in the previous match, so this should be one of the things to analyze deeply for Magnus team. For sure. Yes, so. Rookie one happened, everything yes, happens one, fast. Yes, a very popular move, and now uh, I can explain that bishop g4 is not good move for black, not because immediately take, because after take, everything is okay. f5, rook e1, bishop takes f3. Oi, so uh, uh, I, I'm uh, making this on wrong board, sorry. Yeah, but it's fine, it's still, it's still working. Yeah, so. Yes, but okay, I will choose the correct board. So, this is. Uh, so, so, I wanted to, to explain that uh, Rook E1 is playing already. Uh, what is the difference? Like, what is the point of Rook E1 instead of Queen C2? Let's say if Black just continues playing the same moves, maybe like. Bishop f5 or bishop g4? No, no, it's a big difference because uh, first of all, uh, uh, okay, so it's quite a big difference because, uh, for example, after queen c2, the, the most popular now, according to theory, is h6. Uh, this pawn sacrifice, and if I uh, take uh, rook e8 is coming with compensation. There are some games of Levon Aronian. So, uh, uh, but we see, uh, 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 so, uh, sorry, rook e1 we see. And now, okay, so main moves uh, for black are bishop f5 or rook e8. Because bishop g4 is not good, I wanted to explain. Not be because uh, immediately take, but this is uh, okay for black. And after rook e1, bishop takes f3 and queen h4, black taking the pawn back with good position. So, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, but after bishop h4, simply h3, it's uh, very strong, because now after bishop h5, uh, bishop takes e4, takes, 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 black has no enough compensation for the pawn, and uh, uh, exchange on f3, obviously, it's useful for white. So, bishop g4 is not a good alternative, so bishop f5 or rook e8. For example, if rook e8, uh, one of the uh, uh, possibility is uh, knight c3, knight takes c3, b takes c3, and after d takes c4, Kalifman played uh, with white bishop g5 against uh, a big expert of this opening, uh, grandmaster from uh, Lithuania, Eduardas Rosenthalis. And, uh, okay, what else? Uh, of, co of course, here uh, 
After Night C3, uh, B takes C3, also H6 is quite a popular option. But uh, now White have uh, ideas to fight for initiative, for example, C5, Bishop C7, Knight H4, this idea, Knight F5, something like this. Anand played this with White, uh, as I remember. So, so Bishop F5 played Young. Okay. And now uh, my game against Swidler was interesting. So queen b3 is uh, the main move here after bishop f5. Because the bishop comes away from the queen side pawn, so why that's kind of a yeah. simple idea just to hit the pawns and uh, try to provoke something. But of course, there should be a reasonable response for black after queen b3. Yes, also, what, like, okay, what is alternative? Knight c3 is possible, I played this against Gelfand, but of course, after take, take, takes, takes... Yeah, too many exchanges. Four, and knight d7, okay, uh, it's difficult uh, to pretend for advantage, although uh, it was very long game, uh, approximately 80 games, but ended draw my game against Gelfand in Lviv 2000. Well, so uh, according to theory, queen b3, yes, he played queen b3. And now there are two moves. Uh, so knight a6 is possible or queen uh, d7. It's another option. So what is the theory? For example, if queen d7, the theory is um, knight c3. Knight takes c3, if knight c3, of course, uh, bishop takes f5, queen takes f5, and now if b takes c3, b6 uh, more or less uh, okay for black, so queen takes b7, more principle, now queen uh, d7. Uh, uh, knight e4 immediately doesn't work because intermediate move c5 is strong. Yes, he played queen d7. So theory is knight c3, knight c3, bishop f5, queen takes f5, queen takes b7, queen d7 immediately. The strongest move according to modern theory. Now after queen takes a8, white has problem with his queen. The knight a6 coming and you win the queen. Oh, firstly knight a4, I think. With idea, no, you, don't, you, just, you can yeah, you can even save the knight. Yeah. Yes, if c5, knight a6. So usually white is playing a swiddler against me played. Uh, so yeah, you can show this line. So yes, see that takes the queen d7, is trapped. Knight takes d7, c5. Uh, because bc, dc is okay for black. So bishop takes h2, knight takes h2, and uh, this end game looks like slightly better for white, but uh, with uh, correct defense, black can uh, make a draw or equalize chances at least. And uh, another op oh, oh, okay, another uh, theoretical move uh, instead of queen d7, okay, he didn't play this, but it was knight a6, and uh, after, so, yes, knight, uh, uh, idea, if knight c3, d takes c4 is possible, if uh, c takes d5, c takes d5, knight c3, now bishop e6. And there are a lot yeah, of... But knight c3 happened already, so we go into that. Yes. Yes, bishop e6 and uh, go on. But okay, uh, the, uh, they choose... Uh, yeah, Magnus chose knight c3, so he yes, went to his main line. So we discussed it already, knight c3. Bishop f5, uh, so knight takes c3, yes. Bishop f5, queen takes f5, and now, okay, so white has choice. B takes c3, b6, so, or queen takes b7. B well, takes c3, right. Yes. And now, yeah, now it's interesting whether he takes b7 or takes he took on c3, oh, okay. Oh, he took on c3 already, so. Yeah, yeah. So I quoted. Uh, to theory, it's nothing special, but uh, surely he has some ideas. Okay, b6. Uh, yeah, b6, there's kind of compulsory move. Yes, uh, and uh, 
But what if I just, okay, you probably just don't want to go back with queen d7, it's such a yes, ugly d7. move. Queen d7, okay, but maybe queen d7 is also possible, I don't know. No, it's possible, but like you have an active queen, you have the square for the knight, you put it back. Just yes. for instance, just for okay, a sake, not to... Okay, natural uh, queen d7, but maybe possible to, maybe it's not bad at all. But after queen d7, what if I just ah, take on d5 uh, and knight d5? I'm making mm -hmm. wrong board, so... Uh, sorry, I will refresh. So, okay, uh, after queen d... We are considering queen d7, okay. Bishop f5, queen d... B takes c3, queen d7 we are considering. So queen d7, okay, white has... Knight e5 looks tempting, for example. Yeah, we also can take, take a knight e5, but probably then rook d8 is enough for you. Yes. You take, take and yes, rook d8. Now I want to take with pawn and probably not give uh, uh, for black knight a, a square c6 and probably, for example... Yeah, black... you have to take, yeah, bishop takes... Yeah, my takes. plan will be bishop a3, bishop d6, if it's possible. Oh, I thought maybe with a rook, could we take with the rook instead? Yes, also possible, of course. Uh, rook takes e5 is possible. So uh, f6 now is bad because c takes d5, f takes e5, d takes c6, and white is winning here. After queen f7, just c takes b7. But uh, okay, after rook takes a e5, uh, oh, yes. It's, if d takes c4, for example, queen takes c4, knight a6, bishop a3, and rook e1. And Okay, but probably black can defend this, I don't know. And rook e8, maybe. Maybe it's nothing special for white because many pieces are changed already. Yes, but he played b6. But okay, d takes e5 probably strong. Give this idea bishop a3, bishop d6, and I don't know how to prevent. So Magnus playing very quickly. So c takes d5. After b6, he played well. Uh, so Instead of that, there are other lines as well, so like after, uh, instead of c takes white can play maybe even h3 or move like that. for also. example. Also. Yeah, yeah, there are many moves, but he probably knows for some, he goes for some concrete position, so. Yes, yeah. yeah, so yeah. we will ch uh, see what he... So b takes c3, b6, c takes d5, c takes d5, yes, this is theory, and uh, now I'm happy. What about knight e5 here? For example, queen b5. Queen b5. But why not knight e5? It's a question for me. Ah, probably uh, there is some compensation like knight d7. If queen takes d5, bishop takes e5, d takes e5, and uh, Knight c5 or rook, uh, one rook, probably knight Very good compensation, probably yeah. knight c5 and then rook f. If bishop a3, rook uh, d8, maybe this rook, and then knight d3 is coming, probably something like this. But okay, uh, so he didn't play knight e5, he played queen b5 here. Uh, uh, queen d7 uh, immediately and very logically reacted uh, Jan and now okay so what to do a4 okay queen takes d7 uh, knight takes d7 obviously totally harmless Nothing. for yeah. black so uh, only two moves can be considered rook b1 a4? a4 he played yes and just move to queen b3 just Passive, okay, but Queen uh, just was on B3, so if yeah, it doesn't make sense. But Queen was on F5, then on B7. So okay, kind of small, yes, small A4, so uh, Black defended uh, his Queen. Uh, so if Black would take on B5, it will be some pressure on A line. A for example, if uh, black uh, just play primitively after bishop a3 takes takes, this kind of endgame looks quite unpleasant. But ah, okay, he took uh, on a3. Everything goes so fast. They just uh, go into this endgame extremely fast. 
And yes. yeah, it's, it's an okay, interesting strategy. Will, ah, yes, he played a5, so... Uh, because I was thinking about knight h4 without any thinking, it's incredible. So, so both are in preparation because it's impossible to play knight h4 uh, without any thinking. So. It's interesting that everyone tries to play with black to go very fast into some kind of end game where like you're very very solid. So not he many chances. A5, or probably there are some alternatives like rook d8, for example. But after rook d8, bishop a3, probably this type of position is not so pleasant for black. If take, take, and rook a1 is coming. So, okay, uh, a5 is uh, uh, still in preparation. So knight h4, he's surprised at uh, me. Okay, not uh, because this move is not natural, but uh, okay. Uh, for example, if I would white, at least uh, I need uh, some time to think and consider move like b takes a6 or bishop a3 or maybe some I don't know, bishop g5 maybe this idea bishop e7 or if f6 bishop h4 but okay knight h4 without any thinking so surely he prepared this position i mean magnus okay jan uh, also played a5 without awesome. any thinking so okay but i don't know uh, if knight h4 was uh, main uh, which Jan considered here now okay now we will definitely have Jan will take some time to think because knight h4 is kind of a weird move and we have some questions in chat so you might try to ah yes that. yes yes hello good yes 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 uh, yes yes uh, just uh, there is a question what is your favorite line to fight Petra you probably mean with white uh, my uh, uh, against probably mm, okay. I played many line. I played d4 in uh, move three. I played also line uh, uh, knight. Okay, knight f3 and knight c3. Interesting line, but knight f3, knight x e4, knight c3. I played mainly mainly with black with white. Uh, okay, uh, I think I played two, but not so often at least. Yeah, I mean there are many lines, uh, and no, normally nowadays we just try to find some some forcing idea maybe in 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 the later stage of the game where kind of something may happen, like you can see. But this game also there's a question about like do we think you know, is it is it going to be a quick draw or it's still some no 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 potential? it's uh, it's uh, not clear because white uh, wants to develop uh, initiative so knight is uh, dreaming for f five square if uh, black plays g six now white has choice so bishop h six it's uh, logical or another plan to play g three knight g two. And then, oh, for example, so g3, knight e7, that's... knight g2, with idea knight e3 or bishop f4, and then to attack somehow d5 pawns, or maybe bishop h6 is more precise. Uh, so immediately understand where rook is going, and okay, maybe rook c8. Uh, I, uh, so maybe uh, some kind of rook is uh, okay after rook e3 knight d7 unfortunately white has no knight f5 because after g takes f5 uh, g3 square it's under control so probably this is uh, nothing so rook c8 yeah, but it's kind of interesting why would white like I mean why is it we don't have too much potential to attack from the king side like, uh, we don't have queens, there are a few pieces left, like, looks solid. But I'm, I'm curious about this pawn structure, because, like, the queen side pawn structure is pretty interesting. But I think from long, long term perspective, Black might have some ideas, actually. Um, yeah. Because if yeah. you imagine, like, a pawn end game, it should be better for Black if not winning completely. I just. In no, I don't think so. If, for example, a match pawn endgame, uh, for example, uh, pawn, uh, king on d3 white, king on d6 black, how uh, you want to win with black? Well, if I could get my king in, into the center, maybe I would have some chances. But yeah, like there is no breakthrough, so my pass pawn on a5 cannot move because I will lose it. But in general, like, I don't know, like, it's interesting to analyze the pawn structure because what kind of pieces 
does black want to change or white wants to change or which kind of because what is the point like is white going to try to win the fd5 pawn for well, instance or... i think uh, uh, white will uh, play uh, uh, in something like this so white will play g3 and f for example this strategy of white i will illustrate for example rook c8 well, it's not only move something like this 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 Knight F6, F3, and knight will come to E3, and then uh, king will go to D3, and in some moment C4, uh, so something like this, I think, uh, uh, wants Magnus. Uh, uh, of course, maybe black can transfer his knight on uh, to C7, but okay, something like that. <laughs> like this, king f2, knight c7, rook uh, b1, maybe this rook, and uh, again, white plants, uh, put knight on e3, king on d3, and prepare c4 in some moment. Or, or also, uh, a, a, if a4, rook a5, or c4, okay, so quite complicated. And we, of course, this line is uh, not, uh, seems like forcing, uh, but. Uh, I uh, I'm just trying to understand what Magnus wants. So uh, surely G6 G4. Oh wow! Yeah, actually, I wanted to point it out because the best computer line is in this position is actually G4. G4, very strange. It, so, it's definitely a computer move, yeah. but it may have some ideas, right? Like you just take some space. Maybe that's kind okay, of okay. Maybe he wants you like the, he wants the same, uh, but we spawn on uh, G4. Yeah, you have some G5 ideas where if the knight comes to F6 to defend the pawn, right, we can have G5 yeah. and attack yes, the knight. Maybe that don't think that that, uh, because uh, black uh, will go king F8, king C, uh, king E6 very quickly, and after G5, all bishop and games will be there, and probably also pawn and games will be losing for white. So G5, it's. Uh, it's highly yeah. anti-positional, but okay, maybe if there is concrete idea, okay, everything is possible. Yeah, it's funny that now after G4 we talked a few moments before that the pawn end game is not winning, but after G4 Black King has will probably go through and then it should mm -hmm. be winning. So okay, there it's... is chat uh, if uh, uh, Carlson will play E4, E5, Bishop C4 next time. Okay, it's possible or... Or knight c3, it's possible. Or maybe king's gambit, but okay, is it possible in world championship match? Right? <laughs> king's gambit. No, Jan played king's gambit. Okay, and he made yeah, they too played king's gambit. Okay, so... so yeah, yeah, but like, you don't Marcus expect it. Uh, played yeah. many times. Uh, so, but okay, in world championship match, it's a little bit tricky. Okay, yeah, yeah, there yeah, are yeah, other uh, opportunities like possible. Italian... Uh, Ah, so bishop c4, uh, it means uh, with idea to have Italian, probably it's possible. So knight h4, g6, g4, so g6, uh, g4 he played, uh, so I didn't guess the move, uh, so g6. But after g4, let's say the most reasonable continuation is just to play knight d7? Yes, knight d7 uh, looks the most Knight d7, knight g2. Yes, but probably also rook c8 is possible. But, uh, okay, if rook c8, I'm not sure that uh, rook takes c3 is real threat, so maybe white can play. Yeah, I just go knight, knight, knight g2, and yes, if you take on c3, it doesn't work, right? It's extremely unpleasant, because after... You can show that, like let's yes. say knight g2, bishop knight g Bishop h6, so this, bishop f4, for example, and uh, very unpleasant. Yeah, check, either. and bishop f4, and you probably are going to lose your knight. On yes, 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 it looks like something extremely You bad. cannot defend the d5 pawn after okay, all. Maybe yeah. there is some contraplay, a4, knight takes d5, ah, knight takes d5, rook is hanging. The rook is hanging, so, and white is just Yes, so white too, is too just fast. So g4, so okay, knight d7 uh, uh, looks more or less forcing, and uh, knight g2 probably it's uh, idea. Now black uh, should choose which rook they want to have on uh, c8 or on e8 maybe okay so so i think knight g2 is uh, pr uh, predictable moves yes he played knight d7 and 
Nice. Yeah, but after let's say rook c8 at the end, let's say knight g2, we go rook f c8. Rook f c8. Bishop, f... Uh, bishop d2, or bishop f4. So bishop f4 probably is more be more forcing, and I don't know maybe that might be an idea because then if we trade, then d5 pawn is falling. Yeah? Yes. So bishop f4. Uh... Yes, knight g2 he played. So bishop f4, okay, but maybe if just bishop f8, uh, rook. Uh, uh, ah, maybe knight e3, rook takes this. c3, knight takes d5, maybe something like this. And now we can see idea of g4. Black cannot play knight f6 because g. Oh, at least after knight f6, need to consider g5. Maybe it's not so bad, but. Ah, so this, this, and rook b3, but what is this? And black rook has b3. Contract. Rook c1, no, but, maybe. This idea, but, rook c1. But it's, it's, it's not too good, right? Because white's bishop is more active. Probably yes, for black but uh, uh, I expected that black will have some contraplay with a pawn, but rook coming to c7 very quickly. But a4, rook c7, a3, rook takes d7, a2, but I suppose this is okay. But rook yeah, yeah, rook c8 played, so we are going into exactly this line because yeah. knight f6 actually also was also possible. But okay, so rook this is uh, okay. What about exactly? Oh, uh, I understand this is not force in line, but uh, what is this? So rook b1, it's uh. Uh, real threat and probably probably black is fine because I don't see a good idea for white against uh, rook b1 mm -hmm. yeah so now probably white is not in time to create some mate threats it doesn't work Yes. Okay, but uh, so he played uh, rook f. Ah, uh, no, no. He played knight d7, knight g2, rook f8. So yeah, that's what we predicted. But actually, it's interesting because knight f6 was also an option instead of rook c8. But he yeah. played rook c8 pretty fast. Yes. So. But actually, after bishop f4 and bishop f8, the line we were looking at maybe what just defends the pawn first of all. Just let's say rook a c1. And yes. then still try to press on d pawn. Yes, it's possible. So bishop f4, bishop f8, rook a c1, or e c1 also alternative. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure which rook will have to come yes. because it's difficult to say which rook is more useful. Yes, because where. now, for example, uh, this kind of contra play can be considered. So against yeah. this, probably uh, more useful to have uh, uh, another rook. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's actually my, that's why maybe yes, the other rook is more but useful. But I don't know if it's clear or not. For example, knight takes d5, rook takes d5, c4, rook b3. If knight e7, always uh, again, black has same kind of contraplay. Ace. Ah, ah, now a3 is not possible because rook uh, is not on a8. So if this uh, black a3, has rook, rook, a7. rook a7, and important that rook is protected. Because rook is protected, exactly. Yeah, rook rook takes protected. A2. So do you think there is uh, avoided? Yes, uh, yes, I think. Uh, surely uh, it looks like uh, both following uh, their preparation because they play with yeah, there is a, another question in chat. Ah, I do ah, uh, again, I made a uh, move in wrong board. Sorry, it's uh, I'm not at I will try to be more attentive. So, uh, rook, uh, bishop f4, he played very quickly. Yes, bishop f4, and now we. Expecting bishop f8 because take on f4 looks dangerous somehow. Here's the question that what do we think is there was some trap prepared by Carlsen that, we would, that was avoided by Nep or is it or do you think this is the position Magnus wanted to go for? Mm, yes, okay, uh, may, maybe there are some traps for, for, for example. Uh, for me, uh, uh, totally, it's not obvious. Queen takes b5 from uh, black side. It's first uh, 
Surely Magnus should prepare something. Probably C4 was his idea if D takes C5, D5. Because if just Bishop A3, it looks like a totally dry position after takes, takes, Rook A8, uh, for example. And I don't see any problem for Black at all. So probably here C4 was a trap. I don't, uh, I'm not sure also this is so strong or not, uh, it's, it's, it's not obvious, but for example, after uh, rook e8, what is this, uh, if rook takes e8, ah, rook takes e8, and now if queen takes, queen takes d5 as possible, if rook takes, probably queen takes d5 possible as well, because e1 square is protected, so c4 probably, uh, is idea, but uh, okay. If a six here, queen takes d five, knight b four, queen e four, and rook e eight, queen b one. Okay, uh, it looks like black has serious compensation. So, for example, takes takes queen is ah uh, not just compensations. I will take pawn back with excellent position. Ah, but bishop f four, so not so clear. So maybe. Uh, both are analyzed uh, such in lines, and uh, it, it can be many traps. Uh, because uh, so, uh, uh, I want to explain that uh, queen takes b five from black side is far from obvious. So there are many moves. Yeah, but like it's also very important. After he took, he played a five because imagine that the pawn is on a seven. White has kind of a good advantage in this in the current position. Because then there is a clear weakness on h7, but since the knight is still on b8, we can play a5 and then develop the knight. That's, a, that's actually a very important uh, strategical thing with like change the pawn structure before developing the knight. Yeah, but for me still it's very unclear line. For example, knight c6, c4, for example, played this. What to do with white? If uh, take with pawn, I will play knight e7 on knight b4, and I hope to take pawn back soon with good position. If take with queen, knight b4. If queen e4, rook e8, uh, and uh, same motifs. So I want knight c2. Uh, if black, if white plays queen h4, so queen b1, again, this idea. So it looks like promising for black, but. But surely Ma uh, Magnus uh, and Jan probably to analyze this line and uh, something not so simple for black because in this position it's uh, excellent for black only white. Maybe, maybe before playing c4 white can prepare it playing g3 first and then playing c4. That might be quite an uh, idea. Uh, uh, what played? Uh, G3? Simply. Instead ah, of, ah, yeah, instead ah, of yes. C4. Ah, yes, G3 is possible with threat queen takes D5. Yes, probably this is more precise. Yes, and only after something like bishop C7. Yeah, bishop C7, then let's say C4. And this is kind of. And now it's impossible rook FD8 because takes, takes rook E8 check. So this is blunder, obvious. Okay, maybe not obvious because knight e7 is possible. And, uh, knight e7 now? Yes. Okay. What is that? Oof. On first view, looks like black is totally okay. Yeah, looks like black is fine. But... Yes, but maybe before taking, well, we should not take on d5. Maybe. Okay, but what else? Uh, black is prepared to take on. That's true. But is it, ah, maybe maybe to play bishop g5. And what is your idea, f6? And I just come back with the bishop and there is a check on c4. Is it? Like bishop d2, for instance, and if you go queen takes takes, you go queen d5, just rook c1, and it's pretty dangerous. Yes, I see, but uh, I can Ah, if knight... If knight e7, you mean bishop b4, something like this. And what is this? I mean, it might be just an idea of playing g3 first. It looks interesting yes, for white. g3 probably more precise, you are right. 
So ninety eight. We have again one more question. <laughs> like, what is your prediction for the winner of the World Chess Championship match? Okay, I uh, I have no predictions for the winner, but my predictions is. It's, it will be score after 12 games, 7-5. I don't know in which favor, but uh, somebody will lead 7-5 uh, uh, against uh, 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 after 12, uh, 12 games, after game 12. It's, so it's, it's you pretty. expect to have some decisive results, uh, like within... Okay, maybe yeah, it, it so will it be will. more than two uh, decisive games. Uh, maybe yeah, indeed, indeed, indeed. It's kind so, of interesting. Uh, so we can see that knight uh, c6 was alternative. Uh, maybe uh, some <laughs> other moves, yeah. like rook d8, for example, can be considered here. We have like a, another question concerning about the prediction. Like, who do you want to win? If okay, don't have any prediction. Uh, I have no favorite. Okay, for me it doesn't matter, frankly speaking. Like, I personally want uh, the world champion to change, just for a change and to see what happens. So I'm more like rooting for Jan. But obviously for, for me, Magnus is a favorite. And But everything can happen, we know that. And you see that in the first games, you can't really say that someone is having an advantage of it or anything. So it's... It's going to be decided, of course, in this game, maybe next game. So we will spectate. Well, what do you think uh, of Firuja? He will become okay. I don't know if he will become world champion, but okay, he will play in candidate tournaments, so he has chance to fight for world championship match. And okay, but I don't know. Uh, how how big uh, his chances uh, to win uh, candidates tournaments? Okay, it's a big question. Yeah, it's a very complicated tournament, and yeah, everything yes. happens. So he doesn't have to this experience for sure. So it won't be so easy. Like he is very young, and yeah, it helps him to learn fast. But experience is also very important. So you cannot predict that. Oh, he. Now made a huge progress. He's the numbers. The, he's current number two in the world, but it's yes, still, I know it will that to... seven five uh, cannot be final score. Yes, I know that there are uh, no, no, no. I know there are fourteen games, but my prediction is that just after game twelve will be score seven five, and uh, uh, game thirteen will play, it, and if uh, leader. Uh, will uh, make draw, he will be champion. If uh, he, leader will lost, uh, we will have a, a one game more. So it's... Uh... Yeah. yeah, within 12 games we will may see some difference between the sides. Yes. But this game so far, I would not really think that this one is going to be the most probably decisive one. But who knows? The end game is still kind of complicated, and there yes, are still it's very concrete make... because uh, uh, White has a very concrete play against pawn of d5, and uh, in uh, perspective against pawn of on uh, b6, it's uh, it uh, doesn't seem like the right position. So it's uh, very concrete position. So I was really surprised that they played before. Uh, both they played before moves in uh, very fast read, but probably they uh, analyzed this position. Uh, it is very... difference uh, uh, of me, I uh, I never analyze it, so I'm really surprised. There is a, uh, a special detail of today's game because today is Magnus' birthday. Ah, so he's, yes. On his birthday, he's 31 today. Ah, <laughs> okay, so I played many times during the uh, tournament Monaco uh, because uh, almost always uh, I had the uh, birthday during uh, t 20 years because I played all, uh, all these tournaments which was organized by uh, legendary uh, Dutch sponsor Jop van Osterom. Okay, nothing special. So, like uh, normal. And what are your 
results on birthday because I have a terrible statistic of losing every game on my birthday no, play. Surely, so surely I, I, I don't want to play on my well, birthday. Okay, sometimes I lose it in birthday too, but uh, in general my results are uh, pretty good. But okay, it's not something like uh, that uh, I'm winning almost all games, but okay, quite good statistic. So uh, they are changing bishops, so bishop f4 Oh, sorry. Look, takes his three moves coming quickly yeah. fast. Yes. Everyone yeah. believed in his moves. <laughs> yes, so okay, just a moment. Uh, knight takes d5. So bishop f4. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So where's this position which we need? So queen takes b7. Uh, uh, b takes c3. I will promote this line. Ah, this not but ah yes, promote is possible. Yes, it's it will be easier. Ah, c six also I will promote. So uh, concerning the question about preparation, I think that they particularly prepared Petrov for this match as well, not just from previous match against Caravana. So I don't think it was just the purely ideas of previous experience. They definitely had some new ideas, of course. So just a moment. I won't just promote variation to have this like main line. Queen b5 it's okay, promote variation. A4, queen takes b5 again. Promote ah, this is promote this a5. Queen takes, yeah. That's is a main move now. Yes, now I need to make like knight h4, g6, g4, it's G4, Rook, C8. Ah, no, 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 Knight D7. Promote variation. Knight D7. Oh, no. Knight G7 Rook, FC8, Bishop F4, and now Bishop takes F4, new variation, and promote variation. So knight takes f4, rook takes c3, knight takes d5. So we have this position on the board, and Jan is sinking. So okay. Yeah, so but he has wisely avoided bishop f8, uh, which we were looking before. So he did he did trade the bishops. He didn't go back to f8 because that was, I think, a bit more dangerous for for black. Okay, so uh, uh, what we have now, rook is under attack, so obviously black need to uh, to make move with rook somewhere. Rook d3, oh, oh, it's obvious for for him. So rook b3, I, okay, rook d3. And, <laughs> rook b3 uh, and rook c4 was also a chance. I mean, okay. Yeah, okay, so rook it's... c4 is hardly possible because after rook e7, yeah, rook e7, yeah, and then the knight b6 is... will be. Fork so uh, rook c4, but rook b3 looks like logical alternative. Okay, but he played rook e d3, and now okay, uh, it looks like white has no choice. Uh, yes, rook e8, he played knight f8. So, of course, rook d8 was impossible because rook takes d7 and knight f6. So, these moves. Yes, but now we have a weakness of move g4, because if knight uh, will go to e6 in future, uh, it will be idea knight f4 and mate in first rank. Of course, it looks if white wants, they can force draw knight f6, king g7, key, uh, knight e8 check, uh, and hard to believe that uh, knight h6 is strong, uh, king h6 is strong uh, for black because of knight d6, so king g8. I'm gonna to show why rook d8 wasn't possible instead of knight f8. <laughs> ah, instead of knight f8, rook d8, uh, yeah. d7, yes. It's, yeah, we can show that because someone didn't see that. So rook d8, uh, there is yes, tactical d8. fork. Rook yes, takes d7 okay. uh, and... Uh, because they ah sorry can you show ah why rook d8 don't work uh -huh. Vasil, uh, uh, the board uh, yes two years ago do you still yes uh, yes I am following uh, following I p prefer to participate but uh, okay uh, 
but uh, I don't like to travel in the COVID situation. I don't uh, like to be tested. I don't like to afraid uh, uh, many things. So uh, at the moment, unfortunately, I'm playing just online. And I am really surprised that they doing doping control in World Championship uh, match. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, so surely they uh, uh, doing control also, uh, I mean, COVID control and uh, now also doping control. I don't understand what, uh, which uh, attitude is uh, it has to chess uh, because uh, I cannot uh, um, imagine that some pills can allow to play Petrov defense better, for example, if uh, you are, didn't analyze uh, variations closely. So uh, there are too many different restrictions, and sometimes uh, uh, organizers not announce it, uh, all of them before the tournament, and I, want, I really want to avoid such a stressed situation because if I'm playing in the tournament, uh, I uh, won't uh, mainly concentrate uh, on chess and uh, surely Magnus and Jan uh, has the same attitude. I said that I think Italian can help with mind sports. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Ritalin, okay, Ritalin, maybe, okay, I never try Ritalin, but okay, but uh, uh, for example, if you don't understand King's Indian structure very well, uh, hard to believe that Ritalin can improve this somehow. I've already heard, isn't, isn't this uh, illegal, like, to use it anymore? I think it's not really, like, it's not a good cure or medicine anymore, and... Yeah, uh, I, I saw a movie where it was like about Ritalin that people were having hallucinations after it. So I don't think it's uh, so good. But yeah, but Vasil has a point there. Like you, if you don't know something in chess, you cannot like invent it without knowing it. It's just uh, chess is too difficult to kind of that some medicine can help you to get new knowledge without having it. Or create novelties. <laughs> or calculate variations better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, calculate variations better, or let's say you're better in shape, better concentrated. I think there might be something like that. But okay, it does. I don't know. Like I haven't thought about it any <laughs> before, but maybe, maybe there is a point on looking at this to improve your performance. <laughs> Okay, so we have knight f8 on the board after this uh, some sentence not directly about uh, chess so it would be nice if the energy drink that would teach me karokam structure okay you can try and please uh, yeah uh, they, they please write some, me about well. uh, results of experience i can play uh, against you karokam and i will see if you are really improved yeah maybe there will be some marketing you know that there is this drink that helps you to learn an opening and then everyone who is studying chess will really fall for it. But I don't think it, it will happen any anytime soon. Actually, there is a funny thing I was reading about that uh, because at this World Chess Championship matches, we always have a lot of draws. They are all very prepared. So they want to have kind of a, a new thing that before the game, they're going to... Um, find what opening they're going to play in a different way. So let's say there is a back with a with an opening, and before the game, let's say white player has to pick it up, and like what opening will be on the note, they will have to play this game. Then so to avoid this kind of long preparations where you don't make any mistakes and things like that. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Mm, okay. Uh, okay. Uh... Such experience uh, experiments as possible, for example, drawing of lots for opening uh, just before yeah. the games. But okay, but okay. Uh, uh, according to game three, I uh, uh, three games which played before, so um, I don't feel that uh, they are so, so well prepared, and because uh, it were many dubious. Uh, uh, 
decisions Oops. in the open. Yeah, For moves. example, knight e7 in game three and then come back to c6, it's hardly preparation. And also uh, what Carlson uh, uh, so um, so uh, I don't think that uh, they are so, so well prepared. And what uh, now I don't know. So of position and now yeah, we can look what happens after very simple night yeah. and uh, what uh, the knight is attacked so pawn d4 is attacked so it's uh, very uh, unlikely that white can play for a win of course white uh, is not in danger so if white wants to to make draw so this can yeah, you can just play maybe the knight d7 if you want, but I mean, yeah, this is not something to try for a win. Yes, surely. So, so, but uh, even even black can hold. Maybe black can you know win yes, g4. Maybe even and black then... can uh, try to win this position. Also, okay, rook end games. Okay, after rook a2, it's, uh, it's there is a question to you. Like he, someone, uh, he's. Uh, Captain Howdy, right. I really enjoy your streams. Will they continue after the World Championship? Yes, uh, and uh, probably I will explain only. I am planning to play uh, Blitz in uh, uh, Saturday and Sunday, so one stream I will devote uh, to, my, uh, to my games in this competition. It will be Robin Tournament, 11 games. Uh, 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 some grandmasters, uh, famous grandmasters will play, for example, like uh, Amin Baksem, Gata Kamsky, Rauf Mamedov. So I think I will make a stream about this too. So not only about World Championship much. Yes, uh, Yes, uh, after knight b6, rook b8, this idea take on b5, yes. So, okay, so now it's question. So if uh, white has... Instead of knight b6, what should white do? Yeah, what should what can white try indeed? Like, it's um, so not a simple question. Black plan, it's more or less obvious, so they want... Yeah, black wants to eliminate all the pawns. That's yes, pretty. so, or play knight e6. Uh, firstly, so... I don't somehow, somehow if we don't find a concrete line for white, I kind of would prefer black in this position than white. Because okay, okay. yes, but uh, okay, if white wants draw, it's uh, sh uh, it should not be any problem. I think, well, at least uh, in this line, knight b6, knight d7. It's uh, this position looks like pretty drawish. So yeah, of course, of course, but it's kind of not it's kind of. A draw you want to make with white like this. Even if you want to make a draw, you want to make a draw from a kind of uh, stronger side. And I think after knight b6, knight d7, white is not the one who is kind uh, of uh, uh -huh. pretense. What do you think uh, uh, of no castle uh, chess like Kramnik wants to play? Ah, uh, okay, it's uh, interesting, but uh, uh, I know there is. Uh, uh, world, drafts world champion, 10 times world champion uh, drafts, uh, Alexander Georgiev. He is a big fan of chess and his level in chess about a good candidate of masters, something like this. So uh, he has, uh, in my opinion, even more interesting proposition. Not play without casting, but uh, his proposition is uh, uh, only black, can play uh, uh, castle firstly. So till black not castled, white cannot make castle. If, uh, uh, for example, black lost uh, possibility of castle, it automatically means that white lost same possibility too. And uh, play uh, in this game. So uh, uh, we can discuss uh, who has better chances, uh, white or black, in such rules. So in my opponent, in my opinion, looks like uh, probably in uh, this type of game, e4 will be not the best first move for white because uh, if there are yeah, no, it weakens the king a lot. Yeah. If there are no possibility with white to make short castle very quickly, so maybe it's better to play c4 or d4 something like this, something more close. Okay, so yeah, it will change this theory for sure. 
The this solar, the, the current position, and, uh, right? And big like, questions, who has advantage, uh, white or black? Uh, so it's, so it's, okay, but, but uh, very difficult to... Uh, to be sure without uh, some practice. So I think uh, this proposition, it's, it's not less interesting uh, than the proposition of Kramnik. So I hope. So knight xc4, so okay, so uh, knight f8, let's start to think. So, okay. So um, what uh, black... Uh, I can like make a progress because it doesn't seem to be very easy. Like yeah. maybe there is an idea to play knight f6 check, knight e8 check, possible. and then and then to push the pawn. <laughs> like knight e8. Okay, black can also consider king h6. I don't know if well, it's king h6, knight d6. Probably like yes, the yes, yes. Okay, king g8. Looks like uh, I should do that. Also, I am not totally sure that king h6 is such a bad. For example, uh, king h6, if knight d6 was your proposition, rook takes d4, knight takes f7, king g7, what is this? Your pawn, uh, is, your pawn is hanging on g4, rook d7 is positional threat too, so what is your plan here? Also, not so obvious for me. There is a question with the same idea, like knight c7. Uh, instead of knight f6, what is the problem? The problem after knight c7 and rook d8 and then d5. Ah, knight uh, then the knight is, yeah, instead of knight f6, knight e8. Rook that's d8, kind of what yes. the question there. Uh, uh, and d5, okay, but uh, knight, it's a little bit... Strange. Yeah, knight, knight on c7 will be completely, clo clo you know, offside of the game. After yeah. this, you play d5, yeah. but Rook what d7, is your knight? for example. It looks you know, the knight on e7 is... Yeah, rook d7 is an option indeed, and then... Knight d7 might... is also possible, uh, this idea. Okay, rook d7, I want to exchange rook. If rook e1, my po a pawn can... Uh, can start to go. So, yeah, knight d7. Okay, so knight c7, I, I don't think that Magnus. Okay, so now it's time to to think uh, what Magnus will do. So I need to I imagine myself that I am Magnus, I am having this position. What uh, should I play? So, well, the pawn is hanging, so it's yes. pretty forcing what you should do. You cannot just yes. make a simple move. Yes, so... Okay, maybe uh, something like... Okay, rook e4, knight e6 has no sense. Okay, there are... For chess, I see... Uh, 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 if uh, draws uh, would uh, count less than half... Uh, yes, uh, okay, I don't like uh, theory uh, to calculate uh, victory like three points. Okay, so it's... Uh, I don't know, like, chance is the game where draw is a real and big No, we kind of cannot... Uh, we cannot uh, just, you know, deny that... Okay, so okay. Bad, bad light in my room, so I don't focus. So, like, it's not something that we want to change draws. I mean, people sometimes complain about that it's not so exciting when there are draws, but uh, the better you understand chess, you understand that draw sometimes is a very fair result, and if someone would win, it actually will spoil the whole the whole game, you know? So, it's, yeah, this yes, is a bit... It's, uh, it's part of... It's normal the result of games, so... Uh, uh, Draw not always uh, means that uh, participants doesn't want to play. It uh, can be. Yeah, exactly. You, you have seen the second, the second game of the World Championship. This draw was a very fighting and exciting yes. draw. It wasn't yes. just a simple draw. So sure. Sometimes it's it's just more to see, more like spectacular. But sometimes it's more like these small details where have make this draw. Ever... Play uh, short draws, yes, it was happening in my life. I think uh, 
you usually avoid okay uh, i'm not doing this quite often but okay uh, uh, it, it was too in my practice so okay so uh, magnus is thinking he has some time advantage okay but also no not a big one and okay so surely he uh, can make draw probably in many ways uh, I don't think he wants to make a draw like this. It will be a very short draw, and <laughs> he will be very annoyed with himself for playing this kind of an opening. This okay, way. maybe uh, maybe he supposes that uh, uh, Jan didn't analyze this line uh, uh, very well. And, yeah, but I think he didn't expect Petrov. I I think so because. Okay, uh, I don't think that, uh, uh, at least, uh, he, uh, probably, uh, uh, okay, maybe he expected Petrov, but maybe he didn't expect Bishop D6 line, maybe mainly he prepared against Bishop E7 line. Yeah, there were many ways how to kind of avoid the main line, so they didn't go all the right, like, the straight way, of course, but I think, like, I, at least to my mind, I think he didn't expect that this would be, like, the main opening. That, yeah, because I think this is the main opening he prepared for this line. Mm -hmm. After now, it's kind of revealed that after his war, he's going to play this. So, I think this is not something that they dedicated most of their attention to. But I, I might be wrong. Yes, it's kind of not clear what is happening there. But like in the current position, I don't know. I don't even see a way how to proceed. It, besides knight of six, knight e eight, and d five to pretend something. White is not really like what do you, what you can do. You just yes. can make it draw. At the moment, yes. If White wants to to play for win, I I don't see any instructive ideas. But so now pawn on g4, we can admit that clear weakness of White position. So. Uh, if yeah, it, it, it's it revealed like G3, it's, uh, it's it looks better. It would be much it's better version after, uh, uh, Rook takes D4, pawn is not hanging, so it's pawn on G3. Yeah, yeah. G4 is kind of something which is anchoring White. So like if pawn would have been on G3, White's position would be much more safe at least. Yes, and, uh, it's not only because uh, uh, pawn is hanging, also sometimes uh, uh, there are some... Ah, uh, uh, sorry... Uh, uh, again, wrong board. Uh, sometimes uh, I will refresh. Uh, sometimes can be some ideas. Uh, for, for example, if uh, uh, in this board uh, after knight f8, rook a4, something like this, and after knight takes b6, knight f4 with rook d1 mate threat and. If white protects, for example, h4 would be eight, and uh, white king. Uh, Unpleasant situation. Yeah, you must go rook e1 here and then rook d8 or like this, okay? Yes, okay, maybe rook d1 firstly, but okay, uh, whenever yeah, I can uh, play rook d1 if I want. Well, because now, f f for example, if uh, you play rook d1 immediately, uh, king h4, king h2, rook b8, uh, white can consider rook a4 is option. Of course, white is not playing for, for a win, but uh, instead, of, if not, without check, after rook e3, black has knight h3 check and rook takes b6. And white is pissed down, simply. So, okay, uh, so... Uh, we don't yeah, uh -huh, yeah, this is this is this is yeah, a good line. Yes, and so, defended so on knight f8 and uh, 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 so great. Rook e7, knight f8. That's the position. Yes. yes. But I'm just curious. Would Magnus try hard to kind of continue in this game, or would he just if he just makes a draw? Because I think if you just try too much, you might get yourself in an unpleasant position. If you kind of try to complicate the things too much, and you can do that, but it's probably going to be not a very reasonable decision for White here to yes, because to try uh, to uh, very hard to understand it. why White White can be better and, uh, because Black has uh, his serious trumps. So yeah, exactly. Like why should White be better? Like if you if you look at the. Peace activity, 
you can apply, you can say that knight on d5 is a bit better than the knight on f8, but it's very temporal, right? Like knight comes to e6 and knight is really good there. And in harmony of the pieces as well, you cannot say why it is better. And, and what concerns pawn structure, black has definitely a better pawn structure than white, so it's, uh, it's really not clear why would white stand better here. So probably you, you don't even have to try to win this position at all because there was not enough to say that white is better. Okay, Zara, there is a question about uh, art of playing with knights. Okay, uh, I guess uh, knight f6 we have probably. He decided just force a draw. Okay, there is uh, uh, some ideas. So, uh, after, um, yes, uh, maybe he wants something like this, and after rook takes d4, rook c1. If knight e6, rook takes e6, takes rook c7, but uh, I, I don't know if it's serious, so king f8. Uh, if knight takes h7, black can probably even try to play for win. And, uh, rook takes. Because uh, a pawn is uh, very dangerous. If rook g7, for example, rook, D, uh, rook a d8, and so it doesn't look convincing for what no, at all. Exactly, this line, and, <laughs> another exchange sacrifice, <laughs> we have already seen that. But uh, yeah, it's really difficult to say if you really want to do that. I don't think this works at all, so probably he won't go for it. Uh, j j just a moment. J no, I just think that in this position, it's. I think he's going to play for this 98 line and and then to play d5. I don't think uh, there there would be uh, anything else. Uh, uh, just a tut. Ah, now we Ah. It's very good because uh, my uh, devices was uh, were close to uh, to finish electricity, so I didn't turn on. So I improved. Yeah, so you, you charge, you put on the charger now. Yes, I think yes, everything yes, is okay. Yes. Yeah, so okay, uh, G five rook takes. But okay, if uh, if. if, if, uh, if Ah, but maybe ah now pawn is hanging. Ah, sorry again, I make the same mistake. So wrong board. So king G. Uh, so I will refresh this. Yes. So king G seven. Yes. Actually, instead of taking the pawn on D four, black can just go ninety six immediately, right after G five. Yes, uh, yes, yes. This sure. is much better, right? Yes. Maybe. Yes. yes, 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 yes. You you are totally right. Yes. After G five, ninety six. Even more. And it would win a tempo, right? Because yes. the five is hanging at the knight is standing. So. Yes, yeah, so this is totally wrong for white. So probably he will just make draw here. But so king g7. Maybe ah, just ah, oh, 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 Again, d5. I'm doing the same mistake. So, mm, okay, uh, so refresh. Ah, knight e8 we have. Knight e8 he played, and now, okay, Jan has uh, king h6, uh, at least it's possible to consider. I don't think king h6 will work at all. Okay, maybe this is uh, dangerous somehow, because f4 and then... Yeah, some mating ideas, like why would you give black some chance, or white some chances to create yeah, something okay, like this so, position? Uh, let's... Uh, so, for example, let uh, us. We are on analyze. Korchnoi explained this rule. So probably King H6 is really dangerous, but okay, we are in analyze. We always. Yeah, we can do that. I don't think he will try to do that, but I think we can, yeah. <laughs> so, so, King so we can consider what. For example, F4 is more or less natural. Rook takes D4, G5, King H5. And what? Uh, knight f6, king h4, still no way. This this doesn't look good for him, like, 
the king is coming and your pawns are getting worse and worse. I don't yes. think that. So uh, after king h6, we consider it knight d6, but okay. Uh, oh, wait, wait, but mate, uh, we don't have rook a3, right? After rook takes d4. So, so knight d6, we yeah. consider it rook takes Yeah, but like f4, knight takes you f6. Played King g8 he played, of course, but okay, we uh, we can consider for our own pleasure this line, so... What yeah, it? I was thinking about some kind of idea with rook a3, but... Uh, yeah, maybe, uh, for example, if white wants... Uh, ah, rook d7 is positional. Uh, I thought that probably rook b7, and if rook g4, king f1, with some ideas... Uh, uh, no, but uh, rook d7 is an unpleasant threat uh, of black uh, to exchange rooks. If exchange rooks, uh, black will have winning chances, I think, because of strong a pawn. So, I don't know what what white should do. So, after king h6, a big question for me. Okay, uh, okay, he played king, h8, king g, g8, I uh, I totally understand him, but okay, after king h6, so what white can do? Ah, uh, maybe not knight d6, but if not knight d6, so what else? We consider it f4, but... Ah, okay, maybe f4 is post... Sibyl after here, rook f1, but okay, but knight e6 is coming, and I don't see anything uh, terrible for black. Okay, it, it looks a little bit risky, but uh, I don't see uh, real if you refutation. Because g5, king h5, knight f6, king h4. Maybe we're just looking for something... I know. What if White just uh, instead of you know doing something, just put the rook on e1? His idea of Where? taking with the rook on f7. Uh, rook e1 here? Uh, no, after king h6. I mean, after king h6, rook e1 here. Yes. 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 It looks like very, very, very natural. Yes, but uh, okay. Black has uh, knight e6. Even possible. Why not? Okay, knight f6, I will take a pawn. Knight f6. Okay. Or maybe knight d6 now after knight e6, that might be. Ah, yes, maybe knight d6. Okay, maybe rook e1. Yes, rook e1, and if rook takes d4. Ah, if rook takes d4, what is your idea? Rook takes f7, yes. Ah, and uh, attack my knight. No, not, not f6, but d6, or you want to see that? Yes, maybe you are right. Yes, no. Knight in unpleasant position. So maybe rook a1. Okay, so, but, uh, okay, maybe rook a1. It's a little bit risky if knight e6 already now, knight e6. Okay, maybe this is a really dangerous line for black. a4, rook f7, a3, rook f8, a2. Okay, it's h4 even. Okay, so maybe so after King H8, so okay, Magnus have a choice. Uh, it looks like uh, only what uh, he can make here. Uh, C5 maybe is the only chance to really uh, no to uh, play on at least for uh, a couple uh, of D5. Ah, okay, okay, D5 is possible, but. Uh, well, I I restrict your knight. You cannot take my pawn, so at least. At least something there is, but... Okay, a4, different. for example. It looks like logical. What now? King f1, king e2, something like this. Maybe. King f1... Yeah, just come and just run. If black just also goes d6. And d6, probably. Yes. Well, after d6, a3 looks like a totally reasonable alternative. Yeah, there is no threat. d6 is just a pawn and nothing more. <laughs> it, it doesn't go further. It just stays on d6 and creates no threat. And black pawn is much more dangerous in this case. Because there is only one rook defending it and uh, it's, it might be not enough. So you should it's kind of be very like careful. Enough. Optically, it looks like uh, a pawn is much more dangerous than, than white d pawn. 
Yeah, because you can say like White Knight and uh, the Rook, they're stuck. They don't do anything. They are, okay, they restrict my King and my Knight, but they don't do much more rather than that. And like this runs with the Pawn, which is supported by both. So the Rooks again, one Rook, so there is kind of a... And somewhere Black uh, can consider also Knight D7, so you are not totally yeah. restrict my Knight. Yeah, I can move it, yes. yes. But I mean, I'm not so worried about my knight. Your knight on yeah, is not a great piece anyway, so... Yeah. Yes. So, so yeah. totally it doesn't look that uh, white can have any chances for win after d5 and a4. But I mean, if you don't play d5, you have to repeat the moves, right? It's, yes, yes. Okay, doesn't... but uh, if he wanted to... Okay, maybe he, he thought that... He supposed that correctly that king h6 is too risky for black and... Probably this is e more easy way uh, to draw than knight takes b6 line, which also was quite drawish. Ah, so uh, about uh, they asking uh, about, uh, about uh, art of played with knight uh, that uh, Vichy, uh, yes, okay, Vichy. Uh, 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 playing good with knight uh, and uh, okay uh, so there is my theory that uh, probably uh, the most uh, difficult in chess calculations uh, to see uh, correctly moves uh, uh, knight uh, uh, moves, uh, uh, back uh, yeah backwards this is everything every time we, we miss very often that moving yeah. backwards <laughs> yes but okay uh, also I can tell that uh, uh, in one time I was really impressed by the art how Michael Adams fighting against two bishops advantage for example he liked to play bishop and okay. knight against two bishops or or uh, uh, knight uh, or bishop uh, uh, and two knights against uh, two bishop and knights. So I think uh, uh, Michael Adams is a very big expert uh, in this type of position. And uh, also uh, because of this, he likes uh, openings like Nimzo Indias and take on C3 somewhere or Rossolimo or English opening mm. C4, E5 and then knight c3 bishop before not immediately but that takes somewhere on c, c3 and uh, and uh, creates and this is against uh, bishops because not many players enjoy playing against pair of bishops especially in normal position it looks it's always a bit of a suffering and you should be extremely careful uh -huh. because yeah the bishops are stronger but mm -hmm. yeah Maybe there are some experts like you're mentioning, Michael Adams, or he knows where and how to do that. Okay, d5 play. D5, d5 play, d5. and uh, I expect in a4 now. And I, in... and I think and I think Jan can play a4 really fast. This is his typical thing. Like he needs, he, he calculates really fast. He sees nothing is going to happen to him, so he just you know a4 is very simple. Well, that's just bullshit. But we'll see how much time will he spend on playing a4. So, so, okay, what alternatives? Knight d7 immediately a little bit risky because rook a e1, and uh, if king f8, knight d6 is extremely unpleasant. So, a4. Okay, uh, uh, they're asking if, if it's risky. I don't think it's really risky because white has still have possibility knight f6, knight e8. Uh, also, always necessary to calculate king h6 somewhere. Yeah, so, indeed. So, so I think he maybe, first of all, he will play g5. You know, and then there is always this thing. So yes. he probably will. Yes. For example, it. he can play after uh, a4, he can play g5, and after a3 to guarantee this mechanism to work. Yes, but after g5, uh, maybe black can consider knight d7. 
I'm not so sure about this. Yeah, the Tono G5 is on the same rank as D5. Yes, yeah, but, uh, yeah, yes, but rook E1, A3, rook takes D7, A2, okay, it's hardly possible. Knight F6, uh, check, King G7, I, I don't think it's good, because King G2 even possible, and black cannot A queen, because uh, after takes, takes, rook D8 is uh, made with will will go so uh, yeah this well done knight on f6 and pawn on g5 yes uh, nice okay so, uh, so a4 g5 a3 and white uh, can force draw if they want because uh, it's like move it, it, move like if, if, if white will not do it knight d7 in next move can be seen. okay king g2 is possible for example yeah, yeah, white build, like if he doesn't, he is not... Yes, but okay, well, for example, a2, very primitive play, yeah, I don't understand. But a2, maybe I have knight f6 and rook e2, maybe, that's a bit of a... Ah, uh -huh. yes, 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 yes. Uh, kind of, but I don't know how much, how great is that, like... Does rook a3, yeah, You must put your rook on a3, probably, and... Yes, and then uh, to prepare rook... Uh, a3, A7, and knight D7, something like this. Okay, why just go like H4, H5, or I would just take... Okay, H4, H6, maybe. This idea, knight H7, somewhere. Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. H6 is a good move. It doesn't look that D5 is stronger than A2. But okay, it uh, doesn't seem that uh, white has... There are some ideas. It's not uh, that forced to make a draw for white, so white, I mean... He can try. I think that is, that is what he's doing. Like, he played d5, so he means that he doesn't want to make the draw immediately, and that's understandable. So he wants to try a bit more, and I think white is actually safe, because always after g5 he can repeat the moves, and black hardly can avoid it. So he, can, he will play a few moves, and we will see if, if there is a small chance to continue with white. I think he will, but I think if black will do precise moves, White will not be able to avoid it at some moment, but we'll see. But a4 looks like very reasonable, and I think g5 will 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 fall after a4. Yes, a4, g5, a3, more or less forced line. Yeah, but A2 is already not clear if white yes, moves. A2 probably, okay, there, is, there are uh, other moves. Okay, King G2, okay, what King else? G2 looks like the most reasonable, yes. But after King G2, then you may go Knight D7, right? Knight D7, Rook E1, I am afraid that uh, this is unpleasant. But Rook D5, then, no? Rook, to, rook takes D7. Rook takes d7. Although rook takes g5, ah, maybe it's possible. Rook yeah, rook g5, a2, and rook b5 are take too many pawns. Yes, 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 a2, yes, yes, now you are right. And here is white in trouble, maybe. Even. Yes, yes, maybe white in serious trouble, because we, without pawn on g5, there, there are not mating constructions anymore. So after knight d7, yes. Uh, H4 probably, but H4 King F8 already coming. So, so yes, uh, here is such a strong pawn uh, on A3. White can be in trouble. Also, this is draw H2, for example. This King takes maybe even, and then A2. Okay, well, but, but, but okay, it's sure that only Black can play for the win. For example, King A8. White, yeah, yeah, exactly. White has no chances at all. So, so D5, uh, uh, Jan is thinking. So, uh, so but I mean, A4, I would be really surprised if you will not play A4. I don't think there is much yes, of it. Yes, very natural move, but uh, okay. But he has time, so. Uh, so he 
he's checking probably. I don't know what is other possibilities. Uh, if black has some other reasonable possibilities, I don't see a four looks very logical. Rook, rook d8, but yes, rook d8. But, but uh, after rook d8, uh, black. Uh, yeah, what's the point? I just you know I can still just go g5. Maybe. Yes, so no threat because black cannot take. On d5. And actually, ah. the problem. Ah, ah also there is uh, uh, probably threat because, for example, if g5, black can consider this idea. Like give up the exchange, right? And yes, to uh, give exchange. But uh, okay, anyway, it doesn't look that black is playing for a win in this position after h4, for example. But maybe there are some chances to play. Because pawn structure is interesting, b5 is going to fall. Yes, but uh, white has some threat to penetrate. Uh, and uh, attack f7, for example, if rook b5, rook a3, so I don't think that... Um, yeah, yeah, so a4 played, so he didn't hesitate. Oh, okay. played a4, so uh, as we predicted. And of course, it, was, it wasn't difficult to predict such a natural move. Many. Yeah, I think G5 will be following because yeah. G5, King, G2 work. Yeah, I mean, these are improving also White's position. Yes, but uh, yeah, after then King, G2 probably uh, like this uh, G G5, A3, uh, uh, G5, if King, G2, what about Knight, D now? Ah, ah, Knight, D7, now, ah, now Knight, D7, Rook, A1, something like that. Ah, a e1, rook takes d5. This idea uh, to take so h4 was said. Uh, no, uh -huh. yes, now it's. Uh, but what about knight c5, for example? It's a question for me. Ah, knight f6 check. Okay, knight f6, king g7. And what is this? Ah, okay, white has plan rook. Uh, ah, rook a e1, a2, rook e a. Ah, maybe white can do it. I don't know. Ah, like, a a1, mate. rook takes e1, I have. And, ah, but, yeah, everything is protected. Yes, but rook a3, so protected. A3 and then a1, yes. Uh -huh. yes, yeah. yes, so. So rook a3 now. Yes, so it's looks very good actually, yeah. Yes, for black looks very good. For white it looks like You must go rook a1, right? And eventually you just have a passive rook. Wow, well, just lost it's still it's losing, I think. Yeah, so white must be careful if uh, uh, they Again, that's what, what what I was talking about before, that like white has only one rook to guard the pawn, so if you just you know, leave it to to move so fast and do not do anything. Then this one is just can decide even the game at some point. So you should be pretty careful. And what if I knight d7? I just take. Let's say after we were calculating that. Uh knight d7 take here. Uh, take on. D3. Yeah, yeah, like g5. Ah, you can take, ah, you can just take here. Yes, and the takes on e4 and uh, okay. After rook e4. Yeah, yeah, just simplify. You know. This is okay. Maybe okay. It looks like draw anyway. Yes. Rook e5. Yeah, it looks like a simple solution. And yeah, this just goes into simple rook and game where it's a draw. Yeah, yes. like rook a6, for instance, we trade everything, take on b6, rook g5. Yes, but okay, three against three. Is a draw. Yeah, yeah, of course. Even three against two, you want to win, but three three. yes. For example, if you match, uh, okay, I don't know. Uh, according to mo modern theory, if it's possible, this be pawn three against three. But okay, at, at, at least good practical chances. But okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, theoretically, it should be. It depends, of course, on some pieces. I think that normally okay, it should example, be. Okay, for example, a king on uh, e six. Uh, H4, H5 played. Uh, uh, yeah, but very often 
the, the, this the side without the pawn must play f6 g5 you know yes. three, it's an account of yes. play yeah. Okay, but this uh, this is interesting topic, but has no attitude to our games because uh, <laughs> why yeah, I think it not go back to G three. Yeah, it won't, it won't be there. So G five. There is a question. A6. What would you go for if you were white in this position? I think in the current one after A four. Okay, G five A three. So King G two is uh, ah, but after King G two, it's already. Knight d7, it's possible to consider if black wants to play for win. So, ah, sorry, uh, again, I uh, mix in board. So, okay, g5, a, d4. So, a3, king g2. Uh, ah, now already knight d7 is uh, uh, we are considered. If rook a e1, maybe just knight c5 is possible. Ah, knight c5, now it's not possible because knight f6 and rook e8, so white is... Black has no rook d8, e3. Yeah, we are talking about rook takes d5 here, that's not a problem. Yes, 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 yes. rook takes take d5. Yeah, this is this knight made, nice, nice made, but... <laughs> If uh, just h4, king f8, oh, yes, if h4, king f8 is possible. No, king f8, rook c7, sorry. So what if h4? King f8, not possible, because knight c7. And, uh-huh. Yeah, knight c7 is just right after h4, so yes. it's fine to do something about Even it. Even after a2, white has knight c7. Can we just go maybe knight c5 now? Knight f6, check and take on d5. King g7 and rook d8, I will play after. No, no, uh, I'm just taking... Oh, oh sorry, the rook, the rook is saying it, so yes. Ah, so okay, okay, but but, but why uh, black uh, uh, need to play knight d7? So g5, uh, a3, king g2, the most natural move uh, a2. So, because he's, uh, it was white against. If I was uh, white against Napa, I was take why uh, because he is much stronger. You know? But why do you think so? He's so much. He's much stronger. What what makes you think so? Okay, for example, uh, knight f6, uh, king g7, rook uh, d2, rook a3. Uh, for also, question if black has any threat. So, if white is playing h4, for example. Of course, this is not uh, play for win, it looks like. Well, h6, for example, is possible. His idea takes takes and knight h7. But uh, uh, even after this, white will play d6 and make draw. So d pawn will be exchanged to a2 and it will be draw. So it looks like just drawish position. So because uh, white knight is uh, much more active than black one, so it. Uh, Actually, but. Wait, in the last line after rook takes d5, where we were looking at that, can we can go back to this moment when we played h4? Yes. Uh, wait, I don't see the position yet. Yeah, here. Here. I think, can we just go rook e5 here? Rook e5. Uh, Put rape, right, then a2, and rook takes e8. Ah, yes, 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 uh, e5 is good, possibility, yes, now white is in danger, you are totally right, yes, Just knight f6, yes, 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 rook e5, yes, 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 rook e5 is very strong, yes, you are right. Hey, Magnus repeats one move, because knight f6, knight f6, yes, 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 but I think he will play g5 eventually, but uh, just yeah, making... We'll just repeat moves, okay, so we'll see. Or we'll just repeat moves, yeah, but... 
Evet. Okay, uh, knight. Ah, so he played knight f6 check, king g7, and now he can play. Ah, pawn already on g5, uh, on d5, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's after d5, and now they so repeated. So uh, bishop takes f4, knight takes this. Or maybe he will play g5 after king g7. Maybe. Knight f6, I need to promote variation, just a moment. Yes, promote variation, knight f6, king g7, knight e8, this d5, a4, and he played knight f6, king g7, and now g5 he played. So not the yeah, yeah, so he just changed that, but it kind of avoided some, some lines. Uh, 97 sure. he avoided uh, all. Yeah, he avoided the lower idea of 97 with this order. Okay, so g5, uh, yes, so he's uh, quite attentive player. Uh, so <laughs> so uh, he played g5, uh, uh, g5 now, and now we are expecting a3. Ah, and now he can play king g2. Yeah, maybe now that black just pushes the pawn, let's yes, say it's Yes, but now uh, white has uh, idea, so this, this, and... Or, or, or even uh, without rook e2 to play just h4, is maybe it's possible. Because if rook d4, I have rook e2 anyway. And uh, s try to improve slowly position, but uh, I don't know how it's possible to improve this. But, for example, ah, if h6, okay, h6, for example, looks logical. Okay, white hasn't risk at all, so they can play, for example, this, uh, okay, this, and play uh, any move. Uh, black cannot improve, even king h2, black uh, cannot improve his position. So black cannot play for win at all. It's important. So white is quite safe. Yeah, yeah, this but, is true. Uh, but, uh, white can also make, yes. I don't think white can make any progress either. Yes. yes. The, like you can try to the, pretend. d6 and <laughs> draw. Rook d3 and... Okay, maybe instead of taking, could I go rook a to a4? Uh, instead of what? Uh, g takes, uh, you take h takes g5, maybe instead of I can go rook a uh, to a4. Is, uh, you can, but what is uh, progress? I want to take your, your, your pawn with a check. Yes, but okay, king g3 I protect. Oh, no, not this rook, no, 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 not this rook. Uh, uh, another rook, aha, aha. Ah, another rook. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Ah, yes, you can do it. Yes, this is this is can be a problem for white. Yes. Although I mean, we can, uh, draw anyway after king g yeah. uh, rook takes h4. Um, for example, this this knight e8 check. Also okay, it's maybe black has chances. So white, uh, it's not necessary to allow. Okay, king h2, it was too much. Uh, so uh, white. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like this is not forced at all. But if you look at like how is white going to make a progress, I think this is kind of a okay, position so where h4. H6 is uh, totally possible. Or maybe, yes, H6 looks the most logical. Okay, it looks like um, drawish, but okay. We have still ball on the table. A3. It's played, yeah, logical. What is why it's going to try here? I don't see any ideas. Maybe there are some. 
Und dann gucken wir los. Maybe a rook is three. Is it possible? I am forced to take. And yeah, I will take. You will take. And what do I do? Maybe rook a five? Okay, or rook a five, no threat because. Yeah, yeah no threat. Yeah, yeah, don't maybe to just h six. Uh, yeah, h six, knight h seven. H looks like. What takes mm -hmm. takes knight h seven? It's hard to believe that white can play. For a win in this position. Yeah, but actually, we always have a plan to get rid of this knight. And if you go knight e4 here, then I probably just attack your knight. Knight e4, rook e8. Ah, rook e8, d6. Okay, even this is not convincing because after d6, black has knight f8. And then take on e3. Yeah, you will probably lose the d pawn. Yes. So, and your pawn structure is okay, still worse. So this is ideal. Okay, well, white is still safe, I think. Even after takes, takes d6, so it's, white has no real risk to lost in this position. But uh, also, it looks like drawish. So. Rook is a possibility, but okay, it's, doesn't look like enough for winning chances. H6. Yes, what else? It's, I mean, there are many ways to try, but I don't think that's it's really something serious. So like, would have to find some only moves, it doesn't look like a very difficult. Maybe knight g4? Is that right? No, just rook to d5. That doesn't work. Knight e5. Straight. No, I mean, can I just. No, I don't want to take. Yes, knight g4. Okay, it's very hard to believe this. Knight e5. It looks like only black can. Knight e6. Yeah. If knight takes f7, king f8. At least so. Okay, this is, doesn't look serious approach for white. So a3. Okay, uh, so a3. White has many moves, but uh, nothing seems to be good. Yeah, you can uh, not take. Uh, so. So, okay, uh, uh, if uh, goal to make draw, it's uh, many ways for white. But uh, if uh, he wants to play for win, it's I don't know if. He has something convincing. We can maybe go for a short break right now. Can for, we? for what? For a short break. For the short break? Okay, so I will do it. Short yes. break. Yes. See you in logic. Few minutes. Yes, ten, ten minutes break. I will write.
можна чути. Ага, ага, тут буде чути, так. Включаю і просто тут. Окей, so I am here. So if any news, uh, Magnus is thinking, yes? After A3. Yeah. We are back and so far nothing has happened. Nothing has happened, okay. So okay, uh, till Magnus Simkin I can show you some interesting traps in uh, petrol defense. For example, they ask your question. Yes. Also, uh, ah, okay. So uh, I will follow a uh, uh, question. We don't miss any moves. Uh, okay, suggested only one guy go. Uh, the other guy go on ten minutes break. Aha. Uh -huh. Then we don't miss any moves. Okay. Hello, Vasil. Are you playing in Rapid Blitz uh, World Champion this year? Uh, I'm not planning to play because I'm not planning uh, uh, to travel at all till the end of uh, year. Uh, I wanted to show you some uh, uh, traps, for example. Maybe, of course, uh, maybe somebody knows this, but okay, maybe some. There is a move. Oh, no, no, there is nothing. Yeah, yes. Just... Maybe somebody, Bishop G4 is more precise move order because after castle, white uh, can play H3 to prevent Bishop G4. So, Bishop G4, C3, castle, and after Bishop F4 now, the best way for black here is bishop d6, and after bishop takes d6, queen takes d6, position is totally equal. It's important that uh, bishop takes h7 doesn't work here, because uh, after this, 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 f5, white is losing the piece. So if queen h4, rook h8. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Nice trick. Yes, uh, but uh, uh, what uh, else I can uh, add to this? So, uh, of course, uh, rookie one is the best uh, for white. Uh, here now white is prepared for bishop take h7, and after queen f6, bishop e2 is possible, for example, with equal game. But uh, it's uh, important to feel difference. For example, uh, if uh, knight c3, here, it's a little, uh, looks like white similar after castle h3 is possible so bishop g4 is move order and uh, for example now rook e1 castle bishop f4 and now bishop d6 is possible but after bishop takes d6 uh, black should take on f3 and after queen f3 queen takes d6 rook e3 white is slightly better uh, now queen takes d6 uh, immediately is not good because bishop take h7 works. Uh, what is the difference? If king take h7, knight g5 check, king g4, f8, now rook e6 and white is winning. Uh, rook is attacked, if uh, rook takes h8, knight takes e6. But uh, interesting uh, set one, if... Uh, uh, white playing the same with rook b8, one rook b8, and now bishop f4. Now bishop takes d6, queen takes d6. Good for black again because uh, this line doesn't work for white anymore because rook is protected by knight, and uh, in that line uh, black is winning after rook e6, queen takes d6, queen takes h8. Rook is protected, so. Black just playing queen e7 and winning the piece. White cannot organize serious attack because, for example, queen h7, king takes g5, h4, king f6, h5, queen f7. And attack is stopped and black has piece up, so in winning position. So this is a trap I wanted to demonstrate. Uh, nothing going on. Man, uh, Magnus... Uh, Still thinking, but uh, okay. Not only me, but uh, me too. Suppose that uh, we will see 
uh, short draw today after several. Oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe not that short. So far, it's not short, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Okay, now 29 just... moves already, but okay, so it's hard to believe that uh, he will play more than one hour from this moment. Okay, uh, okay so it's v- very long. Yeah, yeah, it's, they just don't want to get this game over very soon, but and, otherwise... And, and also, uh, important option, if White wants to avoid uh, Petrov defense, it's possible to start with d4. With e takes d4, knight f3. Of course, uh, knight f6 now it's still Petrov defense, but uh, uh, usually after knight f3, knight f6, uh, d4, strong players prefers knight takes e4 here, not e takes d4. So uh, knight takes e4 is main line, if bishop d3. Uh, uh, Jan Nepomnesti himself played with white many times, d takes e5. And after d5, knight bd2, also possible very sharp line with bishop c5 here. Okay, so uh, d4, knight f3, and now if knight f6, it will be different line of petrol. e5, knight e4, queen takes d4, d5, e takes d6, knight takes d6, knight c3, knight c6, queen f4, and uh, according to theory, it's quite promising for white in this position. So, uh, uh, so uh, after here d4, usually strong players prefer knight takes e4, not e takes d4. So this is possible, and if uh, knight c6, it will be scotch game. If, uh, what else? Uh, bishop b4 is alternative, and now Jobava played even knight bd2, although bishop d2 looks uh, like uh, more logical, but uh, after bishop d2, bishop takes d2, c5 is a uh, reasonable option for black, if c3, knight f6. Idea if e5, knight e4 was good contra plays. Uh, but uh, Vadim Zvyagintsev played here c3. d takes c3, knight takes c3. And after knight e7, he played queen d4, bishop takes c3, queen takes c3, castle b4 with good compensation. So, so this variation is exist. What, how to. Entertained. Also, okay, there are other lines, for example, after knight takes c3, knight c6 is solid line, bishop c4, d6, castle, bishop takes c3. Immediately, bishop c3 is important because after knight f6, natural move, knight d5, black is in serious trouble. Bishop g5 is unpleasant threat, and black cannot take knight takes d5 because after e takes d5, queen a4 is coming. And White is winning this. So instead of knight f6, bad move, uh, necessary to take on c3, and now knight f6, and now e5, and d takes e5, knight g5. Also, knight x e5 is possible from black side. For example, this, 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 this. There is a question there that do you think Magnus is thinking about repeating now? Well, maybe he does, but maybe he's thinking how far he can go without repeating, okay, I we'll guess. See. Yes. Uh... In this position, okay, uh, rook e1, bishop b3, a b3, uh, white has sufficient compensation for the pawn, but only for draw. Uh, I mean, uh, after king d6, uh, now bishop f4, I don't think this good uh, option for white, because after e4, it's not good to take on c7. You to rook c8, bishop a5, b6, and rook takes c7. C3, black is much better probably winning, so uh, if now F3, uh, black has uh, much better end game after C6, uh, okay, probably white uh, can survive this anyway, this, for example, bishop E3 with idea, rook D4, rook D3, bishop D4, but not so pleasant. So, uh, so in this position, okay, my advice here to play c4. Uh, idea to 
multiply bishop b2, for example, rook e8, bishop b2, e4, and now king f1, for example. And uh, black has extra pawn, but this kind of position looks like drawish. But after d takes e5, knight g5, and uh, after castle, queen takes d1, uh, a little bit uh, risky because bishop takes f7 check. And after king e7, rook takes d1, knight e4, bishop b3. Strong move. Uh, I thought that bishop h5 was uh, alternative, but after bishop h5, knight d6, not so clear. So engine suggestions is bishop b3, and if knight takes c3, rook e1, and white is much better. So uh, this is line. What else? Uh, after knight g5, castle is possible, but after castle, bishop a3, this type of position. So white has uh, exchange against two pawns, and I think it's slightly better for white, although it's playable for both. So this is a short excursion about d4, c3 line. After also possible here c5 this idea if c3 knight c6 if c takes d4 c takes d4 knight takes d4 knight f6 knight c3 bishop b4 and uh, uh, we have a scotch but without uh, pawns on c2 and c7 and big difference that after knight takes c6 uh, in classical scotch black always taken with b pawn but now can take with d pawn and uh, this endgame totally playable for them for example this this bishop d2, bishop e6, castle, king e7. And black are ready for rook d8, something like this. If e5, knight g4. If knight d5, bishop takes d5, and king e6, and black and white is losing pawn without sufficient compensation. Uh, another interesting line, bishop c4, but black can equalize uh, after knight takes e4. It's the best because uh, if uh, castle uh, is less precise, uh, because after castle, bishop takes c3, b takes c3, knight takes e4, bishop a3, d6, rook e1, white has unpleasant initiative, black has problem with development. So knight x e4 is stronger after castle bishop takes c3, b takes c3, d5 now the best because if castle bishop a3 again, so d5 the best, and after bishop b5, castle. And after knight takes c6, knight x c3 was threat, so white has no time for bishop a3 uh, here. So after knight c6, b takes c6, bishop takes c6, it looks uh, a little bit dangerous somehow for black, but actually after bishop a6, it's dead draw. So white can not do anything. This is drawish line. So this is short excursion. What else? Magnus is still thinking, so he has choice. To like He's kind of using a lot of energy now. I don't. Uh, I don't think it's like it's not really difficult for anyone to to understand that probably White doesn't really has much opportunity to try to play on. So maybe just play some rules and then repeat. I don't know. Like he cannot like thinking so much in this kind of a useless position because I don't really think you can realistic to try for something more and then you just think and think keep thinking and eventually it won't change the result or anything so i don't know it's a bit strange what he's kind of how, how much how much time does he's already thinking for i don't know how, how many minutes so what do you think uh, martin is it uh, possible Magnus will play in, ma uh, in match d4 and e takes d4, knight f3? Ah, that's a good question. Uh, but I, I don't really think it will happen. I don't really think so. Because actually after knight f3, I think 
Probably just C5 is the main line, right? Main okay, line, so no? So Black has choice. So uh, yeah, Black has choice, but like I don't think he will believe in this opening somehow. But maybe I mean it's not so it's not that hopeless, of course. But I know <laughs> I would I would more believe that there's some Vienna game will happen with spot sacrifice instead of that. But something like this: e4, e5, knight c3, knight f6, bishop c4, knight x e4, queen h5, knight b6, <laughs> bishop b3, knight c6, knight b6, yeah, yeah, queen f3, f5, queen d5, queen f6, knight x c7, king d8, knight x a8, b6. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, that, that would be nice to see. Spectators would be happy to see. Yeah, this would be great like to see. Like we come, we will come back in time and see some almost, almost yes, Paul Murphy was, game, but. Uh, very pop popular in the beginning of 20th century. But I'm kind of more. If, if we should like decide which is more probable, I think this. Knight c3, bishop c4 is more probable. Or I think actually he will play nice game c4 or maybe some English opening. Okay, I think so. I like likes to play d4 and here queen d3 and with surprisingly good results. You mean here, queen d3? Yes, Mamediarov played uh, already probably 15 games. With oh, d3. like this, yeah. But objectively, hmm. Yes, but uh, I don't think that good choice against Napo because Napo himself played the central opening, but uh, with uh, Queen E3 only difference. But, yeah, but of anyway, course, yes. I think uh, uh, he is very familiar with such type of position. Yeah, but so far Magnus is not the one who must win. You know, like he's okay. He can make uh, fourteen draws and then go into this shorter time controls. I think he still feels. Much more comfortable in this sharper, like to, you know, shorter games because he might just believe in himself better. But I don't know. I don't know, like, what will be his try uh, because uh, maybe he will find. I think maybe he will try with d4. Rather than the Petrov again, like this, which is showed on the circle. But hardly to think that you will surprise Nepo somewhere there. Not probably the greatest thing, to, but you know, against Kavan, he also tried a few times Petrov, and actually he never got a good position from it. So I don't know, maybe he will, he will change it. And I think objectively some C4 will appear. I just, I don't know, but I think, and I also, I think Nepo will also play C4 in some game to start with. Mm, not sure. I think Nepo will play only E4 in this match. In this match, I mean. Uh... I know that. But kind of, I don't know, like, if you are just trying to play 45, you will, maybe he'll go for Italian or maybe Scotch. Maybe Scotch. I, would, I don't know. I would like to see Scotch. <laughs> okay, there are some questions for me. So, okay. Uh, okay, what I would play against Magnus? Okay, uh, of course, uh, if I will prepare some opening against Magnus, I will not publish it before. <laughs> So uh, anyway, I, I will try to surprise him. So it will be my secret. Uh, probably I can uh, spread this information only with my uh, with uh, people who help me in preparation, but not publicly. Okay, what else? Uh, no, hello, not fourteen uh, draws, please. Okay, hello in Gambit about King's Gambit. Uh, okay, okay. So about King's Gambit. Uh, First of all, what can I say? King's Gambit, uh, it's uh, f4. Or also knight c3 somewhere is possible. If, uh, for example, knight c6, f4, it means Pierce Gambit. It calls Pierce Gambit. And after e takes f4, even Stainis Gambit is possible. But... Uh, more normal uh, yeah, yeah if you're not familiar with that it's not so simple right yes. if you go d4 yeah <laughs> yeah king. three g5 pierce gambit is this uh, d4 g4 bishop c4 and uh, now castle main move uh, 
the problem for white if uh, bishop takes f4 is interesting approach and after f takes uh, G2, probably this with uh, incredibly strong, probably winning attack, but uh, Bishop F4 actually losing because D5 is very strong intermediate move, and after Knight takes D5, only now this with H4, it's, it's not enough at all. So Knight E8, so he, he decides. And uh, as I know, main theory, uh, this uh, Bishop that. F4 is bad move because D5, so castle, and now according to theory, knight takes D4 as main move. And uh, we have a move, 98 happens. Yes. Oh, so it's very yes. probable he's going to repeat now. Yes. Uh, so knight takes D4, and uh, now it's impossible to take knight because queen G5. There is double threat. Queen takes G2 and bishop C5. Uh, yeah, nice tactic. So after knight takes d4, bishop takes f4, and uh, according to theory, black has two moves. Bishop c5 is possible, uh, or bishop g7. Very complicated variation. Okay, according to theory, black is okay if he knows uh, theory, of course. So, but uh, okay, it's uh, quite good space for for fantasy and at least for repeating all the variation. Because difference if knight f6 after f4 it's uh, Vienna game it's not uh, mm, totally mm, King's Gambit also can go to King's Gambit. Uh, yeah, so it's that, uh, it's good. <laughs> difference that Black cannot take on e f4 now because after e5 uh, Knight must go back to g8, which is certainly very bad. After Queen e7, Queen e2 even goes. Uh, so, but after f4 d5. D5 is the best move, okay. Uh, certainly the best, but okay. Uh, actually, D6 is uh, a little bit passive, but uh, playable too. So, for example, well, something like this. It's uh, D7. It's, it's also playable line. For example, this, this. D3, castle, castle. C6, bishop b3. I had uh, something like this against uh, uh, by Parashvili. So it looks like uh, Magnus decided to, to repeat moves and agreed to draw and uh, finish this. Uh, yeah, but he, he spent like 33 minutes. So on move d5, 90. and uh, after f takes e5, knight takes e4, it's a uh, Vienna game and. Uh, uh, during last time, Queen F3 uh, became quite popular now. But okay, we can have classical King's Gambit after D5, E takes D5. And now Black has choice. E takes F4 is possible, E4 is possible, and Knight takes D5 is possible. For example, if Knight takes D5, there is theory. F takes E5, Knight takes C3. Uh, Queen H4 is possible as well with such endgame. G3, knight takes c3, g takes h4, knight takes d1, king takes d1, knight c6, knight f3, bishop g4, bishop e2, castle. And, uh, black has uh, enough compensation for the pawn, but not more. c3, for example, one of option is bishop f3, bishop f3, knight e5, bishop e2, knight d3, king c2. It's quite drawish line. Mm, okay, so if e4, this is a uh, Falk Bear variation, but uh, in good version for black because uh, in classical Falk Bear variation after f4. Yeah, there is no knight on c3. Y uh, yes, uh, f4, d5, e takes d5, uh, e4, uh, d3, it's the main. Uh, uh, re uh, recommendation of theory if knight f6 takes takes knight f3 bishop c5 uh, and now queen e2 is important move bishop f5 now g4 is uh, very bad because castle and after g takes f5 rook e8 this is terrible for white it's it's a very old trap, which was played in uh, Spielmann Tarrasch Tarrasch won against Spielmann 
so uh, instead of g4 bad move, uh, the best way for white is knight c3, queen e7, bishop e3. And this line, uh, according to theory, is slightly better for white. For example, uh, bishop takes e3, queen takes e3, knight takes this, this, b takes c3, and... And uh, if bishop takes c2, king d2, and rook e1, if bishop e4, not c4, of course, because black has excellent compensation with knight on c5, and probably even better. But uh, after bishop e4, knight g5, after bishop takes d5, castle, very strong initiative for white. So this is theory of Falkbeer gambit. But, uh, yeah, we have a lot of questions about theory. <laughs> Some queens came with transposition. Okay, so... Uh, okay, uh, knight f3, f5... Uh, Okay, knight f3, f5, uh, yes, uh, where well, white losses uh, tempo. I do want to go ah, like that. Ah, ah, yes, yes, I understand what you mean. You mean, uh, mm, yes, knight f3, f5, uh, yes, first move, knight f3, f5, uh, you mean if d3, knight c6, if e4, e5, d4 now, so same position, yes, reverse color. What about Fisher variation? What you mean Fisher variation? Um, what is Fisher variation? Bishop c4 in Neidorf, or, or, or what, uh, what is Fisher variation? I don't understand. Ah, Nemtsovich Gambit. Nemtsovich Gambit, uh, okay, hardly is good. Uh, uh, d5, it takes d5, c6, uh, okay, a little bit strange. A at least white can play knight c3, and after it takes uh, f4, bishop c4, because uh, queen h4 is not the really dangerous for white. d3, this, this, it, it was my game against Pickett, I, I, I won a good game with white in this position. It's playable for white. Of course, uh, after c6, probably white has something else. Um, might, anyway, knight c3 looks like uh, pretty logical. Okay, after it takes f, yeah. Yes, maybe now even d4 can be considered. Uh, I want to take if check king e2 and style of stain is gambit, but uh, in better version. If, for example, queen e7, if black wants draw, I can play g3 and king g2 with excellent attacking possibilities. So, Fischer defense, ah, knight f3, d6, you mean? Uh huh, yes, e6. Uh, F4 takes knight f3, d6. Yes, it's quite possible. As I know, uh, the theory is d4, g5, uh, knight c3. Oh, oh, like knight f6? No, no, I think nowadays knight f6 is the most common. Or knight e7 is also popular. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, h4 now. H4 is the main move. Uh, g4, knight g1. So this is main theory. Uh, and... Uh, Knight f6, for example, knight c3, something like this. If knight h5, knight g2, there is some theory. Complicated variation. So after yeah, but... knight g1, also possible, just play something like this and knight c6 and play knight e7 to prepare f5. So, okay, Fischer line is quite playable also. Tartakover played uh, even bishop e2 line against Capablanca, but he wasn't successful. Capablanca played d5, probably not the best. Okay, uh, he takes d5, knight f6, uh, and now Tartakova played c4. So c4 is uh, certainly a bad move. Uh, the, the best way uh, for white is knight f3. And after knight takes d7, it's possible to play castle. Or, or just uh, c4, d4, bishop f5, castle, knight c2. It's a wild game. It was game rapport Adams. 
because uh, Capablanca played c4, this is set a bad move, c6, d4, and check, good move. Idea after knight c3, knight e4, so king f1 played Tartakover, c takes d5, bishop takes f4, and Capablanca took on c4. Of course, uh, other moves uh, are nice too, black cannot be good with king on f1, but Capablanca took on c4. With, uh, Tartakover thought that this move is impossible because uh, Bishop takes b8, rook takes b8, queen a4 check, but actually he took on b4, but Capablanca played knight d5. And white is totally losing because uh, uh, he defended uh, bishop b4 and uh, knight e3 is threat. And also important that after bishop f4, black will not take on f4 in view of queen a4, but have queen f6. So after knight d5, white is totally losing. Uh, I played myself many times uh, bishop c4 here. After f4, he takes f4, bishop c4. Now knight f6, knight c3, and uh, there are c6 is possible or bishop b4 is possible. For example, after c6, bishop b3 is the best because after d4, bishop b4 is coming. So after bishop b3, d5, e takes d5, black has choice. Both captures is possible. Knight takes d5 or c takes d5. After c takes d5, I played d4 and won good game against Anish Giri. It was something like bishop d4, knight g2, bishop g4, queen d3, something like this. Okay. The main point of King's Gambit is to stop them castling. <laughs> That's kind of a question. Yes. So it's it's not only that, you know, there are many things. You just want to make a so, very, very complicated What about resources. c4? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, knight f6, a, e5, knight h5 is also possible. I'm thinking of, of trying it. Okay, bishop c4, it's... Uh, Quite interesting option, but uh, okay, black uh, also can play uh, knight c6 here. And now anyway, white need to play knight f3, other moves are not so good. Because if, uh, for example, knight c3 is just bad, uh, check and bishop c5, and black is already winning because white uh, cannot play d4. So if uh, play d4 immediately, black is much better after knight f6. Uh, White has no good moves because if e5, d5 uh, will be very standard method. Uh, so if knight h5? No, 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 no. What? No, no. no e5, you e5, mean e5, here. e5. e5, d5, yeah. Yes, knight e4 in next move. So, uh, and if knight c3, bishop b4, also bad position for white. So, after knight c6, uh, knight f3 is forcing, and black can play g5 uh, with idea. Uh, h4 doesn't work now, because g4, knight g5, knight e5, and next move h6. So, after g5, d4, bishop g7, and uh, this is one of variation um, of uh, this... Uh, Defense so knight f3 g5 d4 bishop g7 bishop c4 d6 more or less the same. Yeah, but this kind of a transposition. You can also play g4 and yes, go into yes. this line. So we are After waiting it. decision of Magnus. So he is not very happy, probably, to admit that uh, he has no winning chances. But but what to do? Okay, so more or less. Uh, I explained it about bishop c4. Okay. So uh, sometimes it's possible to play uh, king's gambit later. For example, after bishop c4, if d6, now f4. It's probably more promising for white. If e takes f4, knight c3. And uh, Need to remember that usually check on uh, from h4 is not dangerous for white at all. King f1, d4 is coming. It's quite a good position. But okay, d6, of course, not only move. Knight c6 is interesting try. And okay, king again, but it's not really probably in a classical game in this match. Maybe in this short control, maybe they will 
try something more spicy. It's but... interesting line, and according to theory, very natural move queen f6 is bad because knight d5, queen takes f2, king d1. It was firstly was demonstrated in all game misses against Chigori. Yeah, okay, but this is known. Yes, this, uh, this, this three black has problem not only with king but also with queen. C3 is right. red. Well, so Magnus still sinking. Bit, okay, so what else can I explain today? Yeah, C3 is coming, rook F1 is also. Might be bishop is three. Yes. I mean, yeah, just... yes. So, so after uh, in this move order, usually black plays knight f six, and now f four is bad already because knight takes e four, standard trick for for opening after e four e five. So f four is not good, and white can play. Okay, if knight f3, black can follow symmetry with bishop c5, but also possible knight takes e4, of course, knight takes e4, d5, bishop d3, takes, takes, bishop d6, castle, castle, rook e1, and now rook e8 is possible, or queen f6, both possible, with more or less equal game. F5, no, is, is it a move? F5, F5 instead of taking on E4. F5 instead of taking on E4. Uh, here, no, no, F5. I don't think it's very good because knight C3. If D4. Yeah, I guess an analogy for White's variation. Ah, no, yes, you mean the the, this slide. Uh, I, I know what you mean. You mean this slide. E4, E5. Yeah, like this. E4 and castle. Something yes, like yes, that. yes, this here. If bishop c5, but this is bishop already in active position. So this, 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 yes, this. Yeah, yeah, and this so yes, for knight it's fine. It's a big difference that bishop on b5 and white is ready for castling already. So knight e8 check, at probably. Uh, yeah, okay. Now you will go king g8 and there is three times repetition, that's true. Uh, is it three times repetition, really? Yeah, already. I think so. Yes. Uh, uh, no, 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 not yet. Uh, a3, uh, uh, only two times with knight on e8. If it, after knight f6, check king g7 will be. No, but, but not, not wait. Uh, not, uh -huh, yeah, okay, only two times, yeah. Only two times, but okay, it's. Yeah, so nice. this line. Okay, but after bishop d5, black has other options. Even bishop d6 is quite popular. During last time, uh, uh, first uh, was uh, Zoltan Almashi who started to play in a good level, but later even Magnus played this with Black too. Bishop yes, is a reasonable line yes. here, yeah. Okay, so Knight f6. This is set at least three times repetitions. So. so okay. So Jan can fix it, draw, and uh, so today uh, game was not so long. Okay, so they agreed to draw. Okay, so it's uh, it's can consider it uh, like a uh, uh, small fiasco of uh, Magnus preparation or, or preparation of uh, team of Magnus. Yeah. Yeah, already agreed a draw. Because, yeah. uh, uh, Jan did draw without any problem. So, okay, we have four draws. Game well, match is continued. So, okay. So. Yeah, but today it was a very convincing draw yes. by, uh, by Black. Black didn't have any problems at all. So Magnus probably is not really happy with this game. Being white, just being a class so simply, and he can, couldn't have. Well, this happens. Sometimes the game just goes like this exactly when your opponent is well prepared mm -hmm. and you don't have a good chance. So, yeah. Okay, so uh, we will finish our stream because... Uh, yeah, the game is over. So. The game is over, so see you next time. Okay, bye. I'll see you next in the next days. <laughs>